Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're told that a Tibetan monk leaves the monastery at 7 a.m. and goes to the top of the mountain, arriving at 7 p.m. The following morning, he takes the same path back, leaving at 7 a.m. and arriving back home at the monastery at 7 p.m. We are asked to prove using the intermediate value theorem that there is a point in time where he is at the same location on the mountain on both days. So basically, he marking over time from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. is traveling from the monastery to the summit of the mountain, M and S. And it doesn't really matter what path he takes. We're saying he's starting at the monastery on the first day, he's taking some path, and he reaches the summit. On the second day, he starts at the summit and he makes his way back down. And we're saying at some point in time, as we can see here on this graph, there's a point where those paths cross, which means at the same time, both functions are at the same height. So at the same, at the same time on both days, he's at the same point. Now, for this example that I've drawn, we can clearly see that the point exists, but does the point have to exist? We're gonna use the intermediate value theorem to do that. So we're gonna come up with some function f of x. Right? And this is going to be his um, height on the first day minus his height on the second day. And what are we trying to prove here? Well, the intermediate volume theorem states that if f of a is less than zero, and f of b is greater than zero, then for a continuous function, f of x equals zero at some point in between a and b. If it's going from negative to positive, at some point it has to cross the x-axis and equal zero if it is continuous. Is this function continuous? Well, his location on the mountain is continuous because he has to go the whole way, right? He's not being picked up by a helicopter and dropped off an hour later. He's walking continuously all the way up the mountain and all the way down the mountain. Therefore, these individual paths, and therefore a combination of them, in this case being subtracted, is continuous function, and we can use the intermediate value theorem. So using this uh, function, which isn't really a mathematical function in the way we usually use it, but is more of a um, verbal function. What is f of 7 a.m.? Well, that's the height on the first day, right? Or the, you know, location or distance traveled. But I'm just going to use height because we're going up a mountain. So we can mark it in height, right? Assuming, you know, for simplicity's sake that he's not going like up and then down and then up again. Like it's just going up a mountain. So we can use height. We're going from the height of the monastery we're subtracting the height where he's at the second day at 7 a.m. Well, at 7 a.m. he's starting from the summit of the mountain. So m minus s. f of 7 p.m. is the height on the first day at 7 p.m. where he's at the summit minus the height on the second day. At the end, he's back at the monastery. The height, right, if this is how I'm marking it, of the monastery is less than the summit. So m minus s has to be less than zero. S minus M, therefore, has to be greater than or equal to zero. Therefore, those three dots mean therefore, at some point, F of X equals zero, right? Because it's continuous and it's going from negative to positive. At some point, it has to equal zero. Therefore, zero is equal to, what is actual F of X equal to? The first day height minus the second day height This equals zero. So if we add the second day height, to both sides, this cancels. And we can see that at some point, we know that the height on the second day is equal to the height on the first day at some value x at some time. Therefore, using the intermediate value theorem, we can say, that if a monk is going up a mountain on one day and down a mountain on the other day, you know, over the same time period, at some point on both days, 
he is at the same location on the mountain at the same time.